Kodo Singh Taurem is brought out. This is a do or die situation for both the teams. Well, it's Mohammad Asif versus Kangte. What's it going to be? Where is he going to shoot? And that has been blocked by Mohammad Asif. Well, who would have thought the substitute goalkeeper, the goalkeeper who came on crisis, would make a save? And this is a big, big talking point for Bangladesh. He kisses the heavens, the goalkeeper. Quite rightly so. Excellently stopped there by the goalkeeper. And it was a disguise there by the goalkeeper. And this time, it's Bangladesh's turn to capitalize on this moment. Piyash Nova, he has one goal for himself as he scored against Maldives in the first game. The second goal that was, Piyash Nova is here. I beg your pardon, it was Sri Lanka against whom he scored. Piyash Nova now. And Piyash scores it. Piyash Nova with the goal and an advantage there for Bangladesh. Wonderfully struck there, right on to the middle. And the goalkeeper had no chance there. What a confident shot. He knew the goalkeeper was going either way. He took the central route and thumped the ball back of the net. Now, talk about this goalkeeper, Mohammad Asif, who was the second choice keeper but made a fine save to lift his team spirit in the very first penalty of the game. Now, it's going to be from Veer, who has come back into this game after the red card suspension. For the second, from Veer versus Mohammad Asif. Oh, that one was coolly taken by Pramveer. The goalkeeper heading in the right direction but couldn't get the elevation. Wonderful positioning by Pramveer. It's one all here. Pramveer with the left footer. Puts it away. Wonderfully taken. The goalkeeper had... No chance there. It was right on to the top corner. It's now the number 21 for Bangladesh coming on to take Moinul Islam. Moinul Islam with an opportunity here to take Bangladesh up front. And a save and a goal. That was quite unlucky for Piyanj Dube. He could have done better, the goalkeeper. Moinul Islam scores. He went the right way, but too much of power on that ball by Monurul Islam. That didn't allow the goalkeeper to stop the ball. Have a look from the other angle. Had some touch on it, but it's going to be India now, who are on a bit of a pressure. It's going to be Gori who will be taking that shot. Goyari versus Mohammad Asif. 2-1 at the moment. Goyari takes it clean. The goalkeeper trying to confuse the player, but the player comes out clean at the moment. India score this time. Gogum Sher Goyari with the score, with the goal here, as he has already de all, always delivered. Well, what a shot that was. The goalkeeper trying to confuse the opposition. Well, the rules of football has changed, especially in the penalty after the 2022 World Cup. Shakil Topu now with an opportunity to take Bangladesh ahead. Shakil Topu. Could be this. Shakil! With a goal. His prayers have been answered. Shakil Topu with a goal here. And if... The goalkeeper stops this one. It's done and dusted for India. What a game this. What a game this. 
It's going to be Manjot Singh Parmar will be taking the kick. One save of the ball. One last save of the ball is required for Bangladesh to go to the semi-final. What is it going to be? Is it going to be Mohammad Asif once again? Just like it was the Nepali goalkeeper in the previous game, Jairat Sheikh. Can Mohammad Asif do it once again? He's done it before. Mohammad Asif. Oh, that is a beautiful goal by the number six. It is the final moment. This can be the turning point. This can be the winning goal. Captain Ashraful Asif comes in for a final blow against India. Well, we've heard about legends. That is an easy shot. That is an advantage. Well, that was that for Bangladesh. And it's now India's turn to take the penalty here. Akash Tirke, he has to score this. Otherwise, India are out of the tournament from the semi finals. Akash Tirke! Bangladesh are off to the final stage of this tournament. The Bengal Tigers show their worth and they are on to the final. The Indian players are disappointed, but look at the joy of the Bangladeshi players. Mohammad Asif once again standing solid behind, in front of the post, does it again for his team. And as we said earlier, we are going to see a new champion of the SAF under 20 in competition. In a few years of time, Avash, I guess, because in the last three editions, India has won it, but then again, Nepal have been the champions twice of this format. And India will be out of this equation. Bangladesh will be going to the final, the final match between Nepal here. Nepal and Bangladesh are the finalists. Congratulations to Bangladesh. What a game this. Of all the people, all the players, it was written in stars. Mohammad Asif, he was on the bench for majority of the game, but only for the injury of Mehdi Hassan Shrabon. He has come on to lead his team to the final. They are excited. The players are going on. The prayers are being carried out. India have been eliminated. The defending champions have been eliminated from the tournament. What a win this is. A famous, famous win for Bangladesh. It was in 2022 when they lost to India in the finals on in the extra time. What a game by both of the teams. The hero of the match, Mohammad Asif. What a game by India. They have been the best team so far, only and only for the man, Mohammad Asif. They are celebrating in front of their supporters. Bangladesh has been the team that has got the most supporters. And they are delighted here in the stadium. What a day for them. They are through to the finals. The flags are out. The cheers are in. The celebration will go on from Kathmandu and it will be carried on till Bangladesh.
Wonderful display of football by both of the teams where Bangladesh coming out as the best team. Cheers of joy and maybe some 